So we're not going to cut all of our pepper plants down to the ground, but rather... Hey everyone, it's Keith from Home Right. Today is October 15th and temperatures are starting to drop. It has been mid 60s during the day and we've been getting down to as much as the low 40s at night. So it's time for us to clean up a few beds today so we can get ready for garlic and onion planting. So I think we're gonna say goodbye to some of the tomatoes, clean those beds up, possibly see if we can uh, trim back some of the peppers plants. And uh, I think finally, if I get a chance, I wanna get our little, uh, we have a pop-up grow tunnel greenhouse and we're gonna just get that all set and organized so I can put some plants in there just to keep them a little bit warmer in these cold temperatures. So these here are just a bunch of lemon boys that we've got. And we're just gonna throw them in this box and let them ripen inside. They'll be fine probably in another week or two. So we're just clipping the plants right at the base of the soil, but leaving the roots in that soil, let them decompose and that'll just be good nutrients for the soil. Well, there's a couple buds. There's really nothing on these eggplants, so we're just gonna cut those right at the soil as well and get this bed all ready for Lori to get onions and garlic in. All right, so those are the three beds of the tomatoes taken care of. I'll work probably tomorrow on taking down the metal trellis and putting that in the storage for the winter. And now we'll get ready for the onions and garlic to go in. So we're not going to cut all of our pepper plants down to the ground, but rather we're just going to trim some of these branches. And we're going to sacrifice some of these smaller branches here with some of these tiny peppers on it that they're really not going to make it in time over the next few weeks. But by cutting these branches, that's going to give more energy to the plant, allowing peppers like this to mature in time over the next two to three weeks. So it's not just the banana peppers, but it's all of our peppers. So I'm just going to go around like here. We got our cayennes, jalapenos. Even down here, we still got some ghost peppers. I don't know if they're going to make it in time, but we'll see depending upon how much sun they get. But once again, we're just going to kind of go in and trim back some of the stems here. Now while I said we weren't going to get rid of the plants completely, we do have when you walk around, there's a couple of them here, but there's just nothing on them, so it's not even worth saving. We'll just cut those right here at the soil's edge, leave the roots in there, but pull out the pepper plant. And then we'll just keep going around here looking for some stems and branches that just need to get clipped away. Here's that collapsible greenhouse I was telling you about that we just built. Pretty easy to go together. Just use the zippers here on the side to open and close these doors. This is 16 foot long by three foot wide. And what we'll store in here, 
kind of peek inside is just some of our rooted cuttings as well as I've moved potato plants in here that are only about four weeks old and that little bit more heat that's in here might just give these guys a better chance of giving us some better production as well as the rooted plants to give them a chance to make it through the winter time now whenever we what we'll typically do is we will unzip those doors on a day that's about 65 degrees because we definitely don't want to close them up completely or else it'll just get way too hot in there and those plants would die so for ventilation purposes we'll unzip the doors during the day if we know it's going to get really cold at night we will close them up but we'll make sure to open them up first thing in the morning thanks so much for watching guys and if you got any questions put them in the comment section below and we'll see you on the next video